Studios developed new products, 155 FC, 160 FC. They were specifically developed for excellent weldability and superior abrasion resistance. Studi is an innovative company because we work so closely with the end user. When the end user has a problem, whether it be weldability or wear resistance, we go work with the welder, work with the customer until we resolve their problem. There are particular applications where the, such as stabilizer kicker plates, where the deposit needs to be up to a half inch thick. In those particular applications, you can apply two layers of the 155 FC and two layers of the 160 FC, which will enable you to get to the required half inch thickness. So the 155 was developed to be more ductile than the 160, so you could apply the 160 over the more ductile one at 55 FC. Uh, we've got excellent feedback from the customer in the field. The uh, 155 is enabling them to the, make the deposit a half inch thick as required by their customer, crack free, and no spalling. The spalling would be an issue with the 160 FC or any uh, nickel tungsten boron wire when you try to deposit it a half inch thick. It, uh, it has, doesn't have the ductility, so it will pull out of the base metal and spall. 155 was, uh, we reduced the amount of tungsten and, re and made the deposit slightly more ductile by adjusting the nickel silicon boron matrix, therefore giving it much better toughness. This is a new development by Studi to enable them to put thick deposits where extreme wear conditions are. Studi 155 FC and 160 FC have developed, been developed for gas metal arc welding. Uh, they can even be run out of position because of the excellent weldability, which is very unusual for this type of alloy. It, it can be run at very low heat inputs, which uh, prevents distortion. These uh, nickel silicon boron wires were developed with the operator, the welder in mind because if the welder isn't happy, the product's no good.